uh, my question with regard to sort of your vision of government is that on the one hand, it, it seems as though in a utopian world, there would be a biblically based government that is theocratic in nature. Uh, and that is scary to a lot of folks who are Enlightenment fans. It's scary to me, frankly. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of theocracy, even as an Orthodox Jew. Uh, how do we how do we live that life? I mean, it, it, well, are, you, are you advocating that for a theocracy in a utopian world? W would that be a good thing? <laughs> um, that was that was what Israel was supposed to be, a theocracy, right? I mean, the, the, the people who ran the government were priests. Essentially, the orders of the priests, they were the officials of, of the government. That was a theocratic kingdom, and God was king. There was a very, very deep-seated difficulty in pulling that off. And we know the history of that because of disobedience, because of rejection of God. God had even punished the people he loved, uh, you know, with captivity. The, the northern king goes into the Assyrian captivity. The southern king goes to Babylon. You have uh, the history of the Old Testament. It's a sad history of punishment. And yet God continues to extend grace to, to Israel and still does to this very day. So uh, th there's not going to be, even though it would be, God, God would want a theocratic kingdom with him as king and everybody subjected to him. That doesn't work in this world, and that's why he had to send a savior. The New Testament teaches us this that there will never be an, a utopian kingdom. It's impossible that there would be. You, and that's why you have to keep the restraints in that God has placed there. You have to have absolute laws. You have to have absolute convictions, absolute precepts, that moral precepts that you believe because that's what makes your conscience work. You have to have ordered families and you have to have authority with the power to restrain evil and reward good. And as those break down, it just gets worse and worse. In fact, the New Testament says evil men are going to get worse and worse. This is going to continue to get worse. New Testament says in the future, the Messiah will return and establish his kingdom. The kingdom he promised, really starting in Genesis 12 with Abraham, the kingdom he reiterated to David uh, that when the Messiah came, the greater son of David would establish his kingdom forever the kingdom he promised to the prophets, the kingdom he promised uh, with salvation to Jeremiah and Jeremiah 31, that he would put in, in Israel a new heart and a new spirit and they would walk after his laws. And the New Testament says the Messiah came the first time to be the sacrifice for the sins of his people. The second time he comes to establish that kingdom. So we can't do that in this world with a fallen humanity. It, it's not possible. The Lord will do it in the future when he returns to establish the kingdom on earth. And the New Testament teaches that that's a, a real, actual kingdom. Even Isaiah defines the lion lying down with the lamb and the desert blossoms like a rose. There's a lot of elements that they're physical as well as spiritual.